This is a short tutorial on creating a sky dome with texture for Blender, specifically for the Blender game engine. All right, to start off, I'm going to take a look at the properties over here and display all the keys that I hit. This great plugin. And I'm going to take a look at our default cube, toggle off that menu I don't need, add some more shapes. Add a plane to act as the ground. I'd like to change the size. I'm going to scale it by 10 in each direction. Next, I'll add a UV sphere. Move that up. Zoom in a bit. I need to remove the bottom half here. A sky dome is just half a sphere. So I'm going to tab over into edit mode. I'm also going to change the viewpoint to a perspective, from perspective to orthogonal. And I'm going to change this to a front view so I can more easily identify the bottom half. Press A to deselect, B to box select, grab that front half and delete the vertices, do it one more time, box select, I have bad aim apparently, there we go, tab back into standard mode, change my view back to perspective, I'm going to reposition this sphere so it's centered at the origin again. I'm going to center it a little bit below the origin. And I'm going to scale it up just a little bit smaller than my plane in each direction. So 9 by 9 by 9. Alright, next I would like to add... I don't need that much. I can do 0 0.2. Next, I'm going to add some textures to this. I'm going to set this up so I can display textures in real time. Change the display shading to GLSO and change the view window, viewport shading, to textured. Can't see anything until I apply some textures. And to minimize that, I'll go over to the properties window. I'll do my ground first, create a material, call it ground, add a texture to it. From an image, open that image, it's on my desktop, some grass. Looks a little funny, shiny, it shouldn't be. So I'll go back to materials, I'll turn down the specular so it no longer shines. Also notice that it's just stretching. I'd like to change that as well. So I'll go back to materials and under the mapping menu I'll change the size 10 by 10 so it repeats 10 times in each direction. Next I need to do a texture for my sky dome. Create a material call it sky, add a texture from an image, and you can find these with a quick Google search, uh, sky dome textures, basically spherical distortions. Still can't see anything. Reason is the lights are all on the inside, so I'd like to actually take this material, have it emit its own light. That makes sense, it's the sky. Make that bright. I'll make that a 1. Uh, notice the mapping still isn't quite right either. That's because we're just using a flat projection. Really, the way I should map this should be using UV coordinates. Let's see. Back to the texture. Mapping. I'm going to choose UV. And I've got to tell exactly how to do that. So, once again, I will tab over into edit mode, select everything, and press U, I like to reset this texture, you need to unwrap it, there we go, otherwise it would have displayed one per square. Okay, this is looking a little bit better, tap to go back into standard mode, uh, what's missing? Well, let's actually try this out, if I change from Blender Render to Blender Game, start the game engine, looks fine from the outside, but if I went to the inside, and started the game, you don't see anything. The reason is it's only going to really paint on one side. I need to flip the normals. The normal tells you which direction you're painting in. So tab and go to the mesh, normals, flip. Tab back to object mode, start the game engine. Now if I'm on the inside, hey, it looks great. There you go, creating skyboxes in Blender.